Hi everyone, we are checking out Zune 4.0 software. It's the newest one there is. It just came out last night. And like a lot of us, like me, you probably stayed up way too late doing uh, waiting for this. So we're going to go through and just see what it's like, see how it's changed, what it can do, all that good stuff. The screen you see here is the Quick Play screen. It's the screen you see when you first load up Zune software. It's very, very sexy, very stylish. It's, it's also very much inspired by the um, Zune HD. So, checking this out, this is where you have your smart DJ, so you can put your artists in. Down here is where you can do your pins, you have your history, and the, the video you see when you first watch it, when you first open up the Zune player. Over here you have your collection, and it hasn't changed very much. It's gotten a few, a few tweaks. Um, you can arrange the albums differently. All that good stuff. Um, you just got the same ways you can do stuff here. And you got the videos and the pictures and podcasts and all that good stuff. Then you have your playlist too. So they can do that. Then over here you have, you know, your marketplace, which hasn't changed very much either. It's been updated, new new fonts, that kind of stuff makes it nice. And you have your social, which I don't know is actually up yet. They're still bringing some of the servers online, so it's uh, not quite up yet. But we're going to start back over here at Quick Play and just show you some things. Um, one of the biggest things with Zoom 4.0 is the Smart DJ, and I kind of love it. Um, it creates like an internet radio station for you, and if you have the Zoom Pass, it can actually get new songs. So if you click on Rihanna, it picks it for you. That's definitely not the right, not the right thing there, but you get the point. It's messed up the the album name, the album art there. But besides that, it was very quick, and then it just generates this entire list of some music that you think you it thinks you'll like from that one thing. So you can X out that, and you can just put as many many as you want here. You can do a one, two, three, four, five, and that's pretty neat. And then over here, you've got your history and you can um, go right to there and click on it and it'll start to play and it brings up the, the now playing screen which has gotten a facelift since 3.0 which is pretty cool and then it you know does a now playing in the background or along with mixed view like I said all the servers aren't up yet so it's not all quite together yet but um, pretty much everything like that pretty much the same you've got all your different stuff here. Not much has changed in here. But basically it just gotten a lot easier to use, a lot quicker, a lot less resource intensive, and it just it's just nice all the way around. Um, then you, you have the stuff here. You can create the Smart DJ playlist right from here. You can sync uh, with Volition. You can use your song credit now right in here. Because you know with the Zoom Pass you get 10, 10 free songs. You can use that right in here. And then um, you've got you can do the podcast. I don't have any podcasts in my collection, but they just made they just made small tweaks that have changed a lot. So um, yeah, and of, oh, of course, there's the videos here. And once they get the Xbox update rolled out, you will be able to watch your videos from Xbox computer and Zoom. So buy once, play on all three screens. They don't have many movies yet, but they just launched last night, so they gave me a chance to catch up. <laughs> so yeah, that was just a quick, basic rundown of it. Um, there's a lot of other features, but um, I'll put that in my review when I do it. So uh, yeah, if you just want to check it out. It's a free download, and the Zune Pass is $15 a month, and it is definitely worth checking out. So uh, check it out.